Hey guys, welcome to some more geocaching adventures here on Geodudes. Also coming along with being a geocache hider, you need to do geocaching maintenance. And since I'm not up here super often to uh, monitor these, they kind of tend to pile up sometimes over the course, especially the snow season that just kind of wipes some of these caches out and need maintenance. I have a few I need to go check on today, but I'm also going to plant a new one, so let's not waste any time. Let's go uh, check up on some oldies and also plant a uh, new one. Let's go. Okay, maintenance stop number one. This was the location for uh, Juan Cabanero, I believe it was called. Uh, throw some over footage here of what was the cache. <laughs> I say what was because I don't see it here anymore. Pretty sure I had nestled it in between one of these two spots here and I am not seeing it. So it may have blown away or some squirrel took it to use as a home. <laughs> Replacement container here, nothing too exciting, but just kind of this little pop-up spot here. Got a few little swag, new log, and uh, we'll uh, get this spot up and running again. I'm gonna go with right there. That kind of seems like a nice little spot. A couple of rocks. There we go. That's kind of the positive about doing maintenance. It's kind of like going out and finding caches you never found because you can't remember where you hit them. That's the case with this one again. Uh, recent log said that the container was broken, so uh, coming out to replace it. And it was one that I hit like eight in the same day, so oh, oh, not fresh in my mind at all. Three weeks later. Okay, it's kind of embarrassing when you have a potential DNF for your own cache you hit. I actually had to go back to the video of me planting these caches, so that was able to help me uh, locate this one. And I was way off because I was over there at that stump when I hit it. Well, not very hit, well hidden back to place uh, right here. So. Same container really, but yeah, clearly this one just beaten up over time, it's cracked up, but I taped this one up so maybe that should hold it better, and I'm gonna plant it a little better hiding spot as well because it kinda just left out in the open, like come on people, hide it better than that. This spot, I'm pretty sure I had it before, so I'm gonna kind of nestle it right there and then just there we go, a little bit better. Okay, so the next one, uh, just a recent DNF, so not sure if just bad luck for the last uh, cache finder, but uh, we'll see. And looks like still here. You know, it's funny, I don't remember putting a pill container here. <laughs> Is this... Is this my container? <laughs> or my old one went missing and someone replaced it maybe? That might have been it. Yeah, it looks like it. Because it's definitely the area where I hit it and this is here now instead. So, okay. Well, cash is still here. Uh, I definitely don't recall putting a pill bottle here. So if I did, okay. If not, if someone did price this here for me, uh, thank you. <laughs> Had this little dicey here. Well, maybe I'll just go hide this one today. Well, since I'm already uh, parked here, I will just go another 550 feet or so and uh, plant this dice along this road here since I haven't gone down this trail yet. So that works. It's a smallish container, so I'm not too worried about hiding spot really to be that tough. Right there, and then that. Okay, so like I said guys, today I would be hiding a new container. Uh, this container I actually just found at the clearance section at Walmart a long time ago. I've had it sitting there on my uh, to-do list of caches to hide or plant, and today, I'm gonna fall <laughs> and it's right there. So this is kind of like that skull one. I don't know if any of you guys remember I had from the uh, treasure chest. I think these are like Minecraft related, but anyway, so you just pop this open and I filled it with a bunch of other little 
uh, I guess you call it Minecraft goodies that came with it. Little pieces and everything, so people can want to welcome to take them and trade for them. This piece I think is actually kind of cool. And uh, yeah, just something different, different container. And uh, I'm going to plant in that little crevice there and then just kind of hide it. And we should be good to go. Kind of peek until he's peeking out. Yeah, should be good to go. All right, guys, well, thank you for coming with me on this geocaching adventure and uh, checking up on some old caches that I posted on videos previously and then uh, finding some new ones. I'll see you guys in my next geocaching adventure. And as always, crush the cache. I'll see you.